Good morning, guys. Bill McMillan here with NDWX.com, 7.30 on Tuesday morning. And we dealt with light snow overnight, officially 1.5 inches fell here uh, in Whitestown, getting reports of anywhere from 2 to 3 inches across northern portions of central Indiana, and generally around an inch or less for Indianapolis itself and, and further south. Uh, if we see sunshine this morning, count yourself lucky. I know uh, areas to our north, such as Lafayette, are clearing things out briefly, and temperatures are crashing with that clear sky over the snowpack, already down to 5 degrees above in Lafayette. However, our next storm system will approach quickly later today, and clouds associated with that will uh, begin to increase yet again across central Indiana as we go into the late morning and afternoon hours. And those clouds will eventually give way to another round of light snow and in some cases freezing rain and sleet across the state later on tonight. As we put this into motion, this is, uh, we'll, we'll stop at around midnight and that's when we believe light precipitation will really begin to overspread most of central Indiana. Uh, steadier snow across the northern portion of the state and a messy wintry mix of sleet and freezing rain across the southern portion of the state. As we continue to advance this, light snow will, will fall and, and grow in overall coverage across central Indiana during the overnight and into Wednesday morning. Again, uh, Wednesday morning's commute will likely be impacted by the snow across central Indiana. This is the forecast radar at 7 a.m. before precipitation begins to end from west to east as we progress into the late morning and, and afternoon hours on Wednesday. I think the high-resolution NAM has a pretty good handle on uh, expected snowfall. We'll have our uh, forecast map out later this afternoon with our accumulation ideas with this next go-around. Uh, probably a couple inches of snow across the northern third of the state, and then a uh, one, you know, around, we'll, we'll br probably bring the one-inch line through uh, central Indiana, including Indianapolis. To the south of this area, that's where we're going to have to deal with that sleet and freezing rain and uh, messy commute for sure across southern portions of the state, including Louisville as well, if your travels are taking you down that way late tonight, Wednesday morning. Be uh, certain to, to allow extra time as you're going to have issues with that freezing rain and sleet. Uh, steadiest and heaviest snow at this go-around appears to fall likely across uh, southeastern uh, Indiana, where we may see two, potentially up to three inches of snow. I will say, just north of where the uh, icy mixture sets up, uh, the, the overall setup is one that would promote heavier and steadier snow uh, to, to fall. So we'll keep an eye on that and certainly update things uh, later this afternoon or this evening with our uh, forecast snowfall map. As we go through the day, highs today generally again with a, a mostly cloudy sky in place can, top, it would, can be expected to top out in the mid to upper 20s. Lows tonight won't fall too far but we'll fall generally into the low to mid 20s and then highs on Thursday I'm sorry Wednesday will top out in the mid to upper 20s yet again looking ahead guys this is a, a look at the European forecast model and as we put this into motion we are going to have to continue to monitor the potential of uh, uh, you know a, a significant and rather long duration snow event setting up across northern Indiana to close the work week we'll keep a close eye on that as we go into the weekend, uh, forecast models are really struggling with the evolution of things, the specifics, uh, but another storm system will approach Saturday into Sunday, and the European would suggest that a wintry mix develops late Saturday and switches over to a period of snow Saturday night into the day on Sunday. We'll keep a close eye on that. Accumulations would occur uh, with this type of solution, and if we look at the GFS ensemble members as well, uh, we notice that they uh, have a similar uh, there are, or at least show that the European may be onto the right idea here if we look at the various members again granted uh, some some different solutions out there but nonetheless a, another storm system will approach this upcoming weekend in that Saturday Sunday time frame and have the potential of producing um, you know a combination of wintry mix issues and ending as snow so that'll be something as well that we'll keep a close eye on what is a very active weather pattern this week across our region. Guys, make it a great Tuesday. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you for logging on to NDWX.com.